All right, the dog can manage the rest. Bam, and he's out. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Wasteland Survival. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna head out to the Three Skull uh, Wood location because as a matter of fact, I need a lot of those um, maple. So, oh, hold on. Airdrop, nice, 23 minutes. I think we have enough time. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's go right there, see what we can grab out of it. And this is the stuff that I'm taking with me, some bones. Um, and definitely these pistols that I got, I'm just constantly upgrading them. Hopefully I can make them as strong as possible. And I'm taking the pan. Guys, if, if you're looking for a beginner's tip, uh, use the pan, make as many as you can. You can, you know, enhance that pan. It's it's pretty cheap to do it. And um, you can get it, get it to a point where uh, it'll be really, really, really worth it for you to, you know, uh, keep on making them and not upgrading it. Oh, nicely done. So we got a machete and food. The rest I don't want. I got plenty of those. Let's see what did this guy drop. Actually, you know what? I'll take it because I can make bandages. And let's get out of here. We got a machete. Dude, when I get machete, I am really excited because because it's a very, very... Oh my god. Got another one? Okay. Uh, when I get the machete, guys, machete is, starts at, you know, 84, 86. But the good thing about it is um, you can upgrade and it becomes a very, very strong weapon. So I would definitely recommend you grab him. Uh, pretty much in this game, you want to grab whatever you can. Um, obviously, deleting it. Oh, Jesus. Deleting it is really easy. But, you know, i rather I rather save him. i rather have him. Um, you know, you never know when they're going to come handy. If I have the space, I'll do it. If not, then I'll just delete them. Anyways, so in the airdrop, guys, we get at least... Okay, nice. We get at least one ammunition. And obviously, this uh, Blade Runner pistol is obviously everybody's favorite, I'm sure, rather than the other uh, Colt that we have because it's so much uh, stronger. All right, let's grab everything else. I guess my inventory is, is filled up. I'm going to head back to the base. Um, so yeah, you know the the that's those are the weapons that I'm using because well, first of all, making it is worth it. You know what? I always visit this guy. Making it is worth it, and uh, it, you can find him anywhere, especially in Shelter 13. You know, just the green caps that definitely it's pretty much guaranteed that you get at least one nine millimeter ammo, and uh, I just use those uh, pistols as much as I can. Uh, what do you want? Okay, so yeah, good thing I came here. Look at this guy. Uh, he wants watch, 15 and 10. Okay, do I have anything here that I can give him? No, that's alright. So, I need 5 of these gears. Uh, 2, 15, and 10. You know what? For a hammer, that's how I pretty much got the other 2, um... It is really worth it, guys. Uh, I will definitely... Let me run back to the base. I'm going to drop everything I have here and the machete. Actually, you know what? I was planning on bringing this. But in this case, I'm going to bring the machete, you know, so I can use it up. And, uh, you know, upgrade my other one. Because uh, it doesn't matter what the durability is, guys. If you're going to throw it in, um, in this chest over here, just to upgrade your weapon, you're perfectly fine to do it. So let me toss this guy there. I am just gonna, I'm just gonna toss whatever I can anywhere, pretty much. Uh, not waste too much time here. There you go. This goes right there. Can I have a memorized? Obviously, I hope I am. And this guy's. Uh, I'm gonna delete that. I don't want that one. And move, will you? So let's toss this guy in there. Oh my god, that was loud. And. As you guys can see, ammunition for 9mm, I got plenty of them. And I don't need that. Uh, let me, I always keep these cameras. I don't know why, but I just keep them. So, what do I need? I know I need 10 of these. We're gonna need, uh, well, you know what? I should, I should 
I should get rid of this hammer because we're gonna get one right now. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna need uh, hold on, what was that? Two? It says two of them. Uh, where is it? Yep, we're gonna need two of these, and we're gonna need uh, fifteen of these guys. That part is a little bit expensive, but it's okay. And let's go over here and grab, what was it? The cog. Do I have it? Yes. And he needs five of those. So we are all set. Good to go. And let's eat up and drink up and then we're out of here. Uh, eat. I'm not gonna drink. We should be okay. And yep. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's go grab our um, hammer from the dealer. Um, I mean, if I want to make it, it is more expensive to do it. So I'd rather use the dealer. You know, I have those uh, stuff just sitting on my base. Um, I don't know how else I can use them. And this way, oh, I forgot to drop this guy. And this way I can simply get rid of some of my items. And obviously have, you know, a hammer that I can use and upgrade the other ones. So let's do this really quickly here. There you go, boom, 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 give me that, and this one goes in my inventory, which is really good, completely forgot that's where it goes, by the way, so, with the machete, I think we should be okay, I have enough weapons, um, if not, I'll grab one from my, uh, what is it called, my uh, mailbox, right over here, it's just sitting there, waiting for me and these obviously you get them daily don't forget to grab your uh rewards from here daily guys it's really important Alrighty, let's just jump right in there my plan is uh, to kill every enemy in this zone that way when i come back uh, i'll be perfectly fine to deal with the rest of them so what i'm gonna do is there you go grab this guy's attention all right, we got everybody here. All right, you, the dog. All right, doggo, I'll help you out. You finish these guys. Beautiful. There you go. These guys are done. Let's grab everything. The everybody here can wait. What are you? I always equip the bow just to see what kind of an enemy it is, cause you can see it further. Uh, which is actually brilliant. What are you? Iron head. Okay, no, 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 no. Not that guy. Um, okay, let's do it now. Come on, Dago. You're gonna use up the machete anyway. 77. Beautiful. Doggo took care of that guy. What are you? Conehead. Let's just kill this conehead quickly. Bam. I'm gonna introduce my dog to this batter. They don't do too much damage. Again, it is probably the armor that I have, guys. Um... Hold on. All right, so he aggroed the dog. But if you really want to think about it, you can get them from the lucky chest. Uh, it's perfectly, you know, possible to get them. So we got a roamer right here. And I don't know what the other one was. All right, another roamer. The only thing I'm going to do is obviously kill all the zombies here. And definitely uh, pick up, you know, open up all the chests and loot the... The zombies, so let's go quickly. You can get five maples out of this zone, guys. Uh, trees. So that's that's pretty good. And we got rid of the spitter. And we have... Oh, no. We have a roamer. Easy peasy. Oh, come on. Two caps. I don't want it. I got plenty of those. And we get, what, 14 of them every day. So that's just plenty guys. Alright, let's have the dog in combat mode. Uh, let's eat this up. Let's grab everything else. Wait, why is my dog stuck? Yo, come on. Come on. Oh no. Alright, doggo, take it easy. He's out. No, not the forest here. Alright, this is just a simple roamer. Guys, you can't see that I'm, I'm simply using my dog to pretty much... You know, kill these enemies, and and it's and it's really really easy to do it. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, how 
to get rid of that uh, butcher if you if you are aiming for let's say just the chest itself then uh, you should be okay um, I will show you a very very easy way to do this and uh, especially in this zone because uh, you the, you get a lot of uh, what are they iron head iron helmet um, enemies respawn here um, and it it really helps and I, I'll show you I'll show you a nice trick how I do let me just kill all these enemies there isn't hopefully too many of them left all right let's hit him twice the dog can manage the rest fantastic let's grab these uh what do we got here i think i can get this guy with one hit no ow okay two damage is pretty much nothing all right so we have this guy there you go he's out Sneaking is your friend guys. Don't forget to sneak up on them. And what are you? Oh no. Oh, this is a batter. Very nice. Perfect damage to these guys. Where is this toxic spitter? Come on. No. Hey dear, can you get away? Please. 2008. Okay, so this is a floater. I do not want to mess with yet. Spitter, we got him. So as long as... As long as you, oh come on! As long as you uh, aim at them, you should be perfectly okay. So, why is my dog running around with these people? Oh, it's an iron helm that showed up. All right, you know what? I think it's uh, time to take out the pistols and get rid of them quick. But I'm gonna show you guys how I kill these guys and. There you go. I have the dog attacking. Uh, after I clear up some of these zombies here. And then I stop him right when he spits. That's when I hit him with the arrow. Yes, my arrow does about 252 damage. But, guys, making these arrows are very easy. And um, repairing them is also easy. Because you can do it with the materials that you get. So... Use them up, build them, and that's how I want to say the game becomes easier, to be honest with you. And there you go. He's almost dead. And I haven't used my pistols yet. Um, you can use, you know, the same trick with the butcher, which what I normally do. And, uh, oh, come on. So I'm going to use this guy to show you guys how I, I uh, get that butcher away. Okay, I don't want these. Let's go. It's okay to have him follow us. Uh, let's just grab everything they drop so I don't have to come back for these stuff. At least for now. Uh, we got a forest here I don't want to deal with. What do we got? Engineer. Bam. Hey, doggo. Please finish this guy off. All right, there you go. What else do we have here? Hold on, let's just pick up this one too. All right, so as you guys can see right over there is the butcher. Um, there isn't any more enemy left, so I'm not gonna kill this guy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him, you know, make sure you keep your distance from him. And I'm gonna bring him right around this way. Because you can only get about three chests in this zone. And just letting you know, if you exit the map and re-enter, the butcher is going to aggro on you. So make sure you don't and uh, kill him, right? Whether you're here or just grab whatever you need and don't come, back, don't come back unless you're ready. So look at the map, guys. You can see that the guy is over there. I'm going to have my dog, you know, attack that iron helm but at the same time just because he was so close to the butcher the butcher just aggroed on my dog and he literally just stepped away from the chest and the chest is ours very easy let's feed up the dog so it doesn't lose the bites and what i'm gonna do go around 
There you go. What did you drop me? Yellow caps. I always take them. And there you go, guys. I just looted the chest without killing the butcher. Very simple. And we got dog food. Those are the stuff we got. So I'm going to have to come back for these maple woods. But before doing that, I want to... Hold on. What else do I have here? Um... I'm gonna show you guys how I kill the butcher, uh, just just in the beginning section. But this is how I do it. Obviously, the first one you can hit him with sneak attack and run away. Bam! Use the bow to kill him. With the dog, you can obviously, you know, get him in combat, out of combat, and then the butcher will run after him after fourth hit. You can still have the dog do some damage. And uh, so he does about six damage. Now, on the fourth hit that the dog does, if you do it in this pace, you know, that's when he runs. You run away, you stop the dog. I already did about uh, 2,000 damage with this technique. And uh, guys, do it this way. It's so much cheaper and better. Uh, and look at the machete. I only use half of the machete and I utilize the dog a lot uh, we cleared out the zone um, pretty much from all the enemies and there isn't much to do so I can continue doing this right now or I can what I want to do is equip my pistol and just get rid of him fast so there we go Obviously, if you have this pistol, you can do the same. But uh, this is a stronger one I have, and I'm I'm just gonna put bullets in this guy. There you go. Wait, what? No, not the deer. Poor thing. All right, the dog can manage the rest. Bam, and he's out. Done. Yes, I did use a lot of ammo. But it's okay. So you get this... Uh, oh, red cap. I'll take it. You get the design. Steel rod design right over here. And I'm going to feed the dog. What did you drop me? Yellow cap? No. And this guy is empty. So now the whole map is cleared up. I can freely just walk around. You know, get maple wood. Or if not, just collect some of these. Make the most out of my inventory that I have, you know, and uh, get the maple wood or as much as I can. All I need to find is one or two more um, stone and then we're okay. I'm still waiting for the AIs to show up. Uh, they are fantastic, honestly. And, uh, and the, the stuff that they drop, man, I mean, sometimes it's just a surprise. So we got everything we need for now. Let's collect that and let's get down to chopping. So it's the zone is completely cleared up, guys. In I want to say matter of maybe ten minutes or so. Um, butcher is out. If you get your hands on your guns, bring them here. Nine millimeter ammo. That's okay. Get the bows, whatever you need. Definitely grab bones for your dog to bring it in and utilize it to kill this butcher once the butcher is out and obviously the other uh floater you are perfectly fine ready to go and and i just screwed this one up because i just lost i had no space in there but we got we technically we're gonna end up getting a maple wood so there you have it guys um that would be it. I'm just gonna go and use my axe uh, on this and uh, until it breaks. Yep, it is gonna break. And uh, I'm gonna come back here and clear out the, completely the whole zone. We get a lot of wood out of here. It's really worth it. And um, it should be good. Alright guys. That would be it for this zone. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.